Christy. I'm the kitchen and bath designer here at A to Z Renovations. I'm currently standing in a completed gut reno of a kitchen in Brooklyn. I'm going to go ahead and give you a tour of the space. So the first major change we've made to this space is taking down the sheetrock on this entire bath wall. So you see this beautiful exposed brick. This was here before. The client wanted to showcase that, so we took down the sheetrock that was covering it. The next major change in the demolition and framing plan was to have the ceiling height be the same throughout. So originally, the ceiling of the kitchen was dropped a lot lower, so this row of double stacked cabinets wouldn't have been possible in that layout. And we did go ahead and keep this divider between the two rooms, but other than that, now the ceiling is flush in the entire space. There were two more walls in the kitchen that we did have to adjust. The first one was a full wall going up over here that encased the refrigerator. So in order to make the space feel more open, we got rid of that. And the second, we just modified the height of this bath wall over here where the electric and gas are. Um, it used to go a little higher. So back when that was the case, this uh, bar stool overhang for seating wouldn't have been achievable, but we did go ahead and reduce the height. So now there's bar stool seating. As for the flooring in the kitchen, we have hardwood throughout and tile within the kitchen. Originally, there was a bit of a step up, which can be annoying. So the crew did go ahead and make that flush with a small divider between the two. So now you've got a perfectly level surface. So. A couple of changes were made to the layout of the kitchen, uh, mainly by relocating appliances, playing around with how the space would look on my software. So the first major change, after tearing down this wall that was encasing the refrigerator to make it open concept, was relocating it onto this back wall over here next to where the plumbing is. And those were kept in their existing locations, the sink and the dishwasher. And then we were able to free up space over here by relocating the refrigerator to have a counter space on the right-hand side of the oven, which is really convenient considering it's a food prep area. Um, as for the base cabinet, we went ahead and put in a microwave built into there. So not only is it more convenient for counter space, it also added the function of having a microwave in the kitchen. For the cabinet plan, we've got this really nice white shaker cabinet. It's a standard three-inch shaker. It's really popular, really pretty. I use this pretty often in kitchens in this neighborhood in Brooklyn. Um, we went ahead and double stacked the cabinets. And so while a person can typically reach, you know, the first one, two, sometimes maybe even three shelves, that double stack area is more for items you use less often that you would get up on a step stool to access. And then for this cabinet over here, this farm sink base cabinet, you'll notice it's not a standard undermount. The reason for that is we didn't have a lot of length on this run, so the client did want a standard with refrigerator, a 30 inch standard with dishwasher 24 inch, so we compromised on this sink base cabinet. We went with a smaller cabinet, but a larger sink that was custom modified actually to fit it. And then for the cabinet hardware, we mix and match the pulls and knobs. And so over here you could see the wall cabinets have these really pretty knobs. And then for the base cabinet, we used a different pull, which if you come around this way, I can show you on the draw base cabinets. And so we've got these really nice pulls and from top knobs in brass. The top draw is shorter for cutlery. The bottom are taller for pots and pans. And then there's another draw just over on this end, which is typically used for baking trays that go into the microwave. Another design change that was made based on the client's need was after reducing the height of this half wall, we went ahead and extended the countertop that sits above these cabinets by an additional 12 inches to create an overhang for barstool seating. So this is used either for informal dining. So uh, let's say someone is cooking in the kitchen, someone is eating over here. It's a really family-friendly design. And another way this can be used in this client's case is to work from home. So it essentially creates a bit of a desk area and we were sure to go ahead and include outlets in the back of this wall specifically for that purpose of, let's say, charging a laptop. I have a copy of the renderings pulled up over here. This is essentially the plan we put together on how the finishes and the design would look. And based on this plan of you know, what my client wanted for their space, I was able to put together a comprehensive specification sheet for the crew members to follow. It's a design build process, essentially. It's what we do here at A to Z Renovations. And if you have any questions for me about your own renovation project, I would love to chat with you.